It all started uh, about nine years ago, um, shortly after my, my brother passed of leukemia, a, a blood cancer, and uh, he had a, a bone marrow transplant, and my sister was actually, fortunately, his donor. And um, there's a lot of people out there in similar situations who don't have a donor. You know, they don't have a brother or a sister. And at times, they don't even have someone that matches their blood type. So I thought about donating or getting on the list to be a possible bone marrow donor. And so I went on the website and did a little bit of research. It was very simple, filled out some information. They sent me an envelope with some swabs. I did some swabbing of my cheek and sent it back to them. And, uh, you know, nine years later, I got the call that I was a possible match. I had to go through a, a series of, of tests, you know, initial minor blood tests for some screening, um, and then a, a more thorough physical exam. And then, um, you know, after a few weeks of this screening process, I was notified that I was a perfect match for uh, this person who, who had leukemia. And um, a date was scheduled for me to to make my donation. A lot of people when they hear bone marrow transplant think the worst. They think that uh, you know the, the donor is going to be put to sleep under general anesthesia and needles are going to be stuck into their back and fluids are going to be extracted and the thing is nowadays the bone marrow transplant really isn't done a whole lot. Nowadays they use the stem cell transplant and as a donor it's a very simple process. For about five days, you, you get a shot um, of this drug that increases your cell production. And then on the fifth day, they um, kind of hook you up to a machine like you're donating platelets. So um, I, in this arm, my right arm, where I'm holding the ball, yep. uh, blood is coming out and going into this machine where they are filtering out my stem cells and other, and white cells. Um, and then the blood is then coming back in to this arm into my body. So it's a filtering process of the continuous filtering process of my white cells. And then of course they want the stem cells for my recipient for their transplant. It's a very painless procedure. It takes a few hours and uh, there's really very minimal risk at all. The only thing I know about the recipient is that it's a female. She's uh, 40 years old. She has leukemia and she is undergoing a bone marrow or stem cell transplant. And the, the goal is that when my stem cells are introduced to her, much like a blood transfusion, that they will make their way and start producing um, her own blood system. From my experience with my brother, it's probably her only chance to survive. And um, I'm, I'm honored to be able to, to help this person who, who I don't know, um, you know, at a chance to live. And, uh, you know, if she does make it for a year, I will then have the opportunity to perhaps meet this person have the opportunity to give somebody another chance at life, why would you not want to do that?